My role models, I mean, I guess I had to be like two or three years old. My first role model as a performer was Debbie Gibson. Um, I just remember playing that cassette tape like back and forth and when everyone left me in a room privately I was secretly dancing and like moving in circles and like thinking that I'd be on Star Search and all of that stuff but as I grew older obviously there were more people to, to look at. I, I would definitely think of the Joy Luck Club as the kind of the first movie that you see with a bunch of Asian actors um, and Ming Na and, and all of that too so those were those were my first memories, I think, of seeing people and thinking that maybe this was a possibility. As someone growing up in a home with not a lot of performers, I felt like I needed to translate my want to perform into some sort of structure for my mom to understand it and for my family to say, yes, this is something you could do, Melissa. So um, I realized that auditioning for college to get into a conservatory was a way to maintain being a performer but also say I was going to college. So that's how I got into school. So I got into Carnegie Mellon in the Acting Conservatory and uh, once I was there and I was surrounded by kids who had done acting and singing their entire lives, I realized either I'm going to commit to this or I need to get out now. It was a struggle for four years, but so amazing to be away from Los Angeles and New York and be in a bubble where all you do is perform and work on sets and do your homework and that's all you do and you certainly have a lot of time to figure out what kind of performer you want to be. When I first graduated from college, one of the very first auditions I ever had was this um, tiny pilot that Steve was working on called Man Stroke Woman. And at the time, I had just come out of conservatory and I was like, I am a serious actress, I am incredibly dramatic and capable, get ready, you know, law and order and crime scenes and all those things, like those are the things I'm going to do. And then I get this audition for a sketch comedy show and I'm like, well, they're not going to want me because I'm not a funny girl. I'm very serious. Um, so I went in and it was him and Sean Hayes and Todd Milner from Hazy Mills and I went in after tons of people had gone and I think they've seen like hundreds of people and I went in and everyone just the whole room is laughing and I'm thinking screw you guys okay I know that I'm not funny you're just making fun of me you're making all this noise to make me feel good because it's so embarrassingly really bad and I find out that they really liked me and that I was doing this thing called testing that I'd never done before. And lo and behold, I get the job and I have all these people telling me, you're a funny girl, Melissa, you should take this more seriously, that you could be funny and enjoy your life and do funny stuff. And I had no sensibility to hear what they were saying to me. But I remember that moment so vividly because it was the first time that someone showed me who I was supposed to be as an actress, that I was supposed to enjoy these things, that I had a sense of humor, that I had all of this capacity that I knew nothing about. And ever since then, I've been on a comedy streak. You know, every pilot I've done has been a, a single cam comedy. I worked on New Girls Asian Jess being a funny character too. And I just, I think about Steve Tao every time I make someone laugh because they were the first people to tell me you could do it and, and believe in yourself that that's something that you're really capable of. So this relationship has changed my entire life, essentially. My road to performing came from getting an education in everything. So I interned in casting offices, I worked for a producer, I worked at a studio while I was auditioning. And I just got as much information as I possibly could to get as brave as I possibly could and I just auditions like every other person. I also realized once I was ready to really, really commit just to acting, um, I had to let go of all the extra stuff that I was doing because I wasn't walking around saying, I'm an actor. I was saying my day job. I was like, hi, I'm Melissa and I work in casting. or I work for so-and-so or all of those things. And when I finally said, I'm Melissa, I'm an actor, and all I do is audition because I'm going to work, is when things really started to change for me. And that's kind of when I, I got my first pilot. Taking the casting workshop through CAPE was a fantastic thing for me because even though I had conservatory training and all this experience doing all different sorts of jobs in the industry, I still needed that confidence to come in front of tons of important people and say, here I am, Melissa, doing the material that you're giving me and here's me giving my best performance and be willing to openly hear their critiques immediately. Um, I, I think that's such a, an important skill for anybody to have because you need to have that sensibility to say, here's what I like, here's what I don't like, and take it as an actor and go, okay, I'm gonna change. 
because that's what I'm giving you one day, but if you want me to make an adjustment, that's my job. That's, that's what I do. And, and so taking notes is essential as an actor, and having those people give you those notes is an amazing gift. So having that and, and getting to transfer that knowledge to booking pilots and working on series and all of those things, it's just, it's completely all in the same boat of things that you need as someone uh, who's gonna work. Hey guys, so as I was telling you before, I... Hello? Yo, Ryan, this is Randall. Randall who? Of uh, Randall Park. I know you didn't ask, but I came up with some nicknames for you. Yellow Mamba. Sriracha. But it'll be like, Sir Racha. It's my neighbor, Jessica Gomes. You mean Australian, Portuguese, Chinese, Sports Illustrated swimsuit model, Jessica Gomes? Whenever she comes by, it's like bubble guts. Hey, Steven. Hey, hey, hey. Hold on, I'm on the phone, so. Remember when you asked to be about my skin regimen? Feel my feet. I no, seriously, it. feel that's it. mighty close. No, wow. really. Okay, that's perfect. Honey, I can't find rubies. Just thought I'd try something different. This is a date. This is not a date. This is a date. Hey, sorry, I'm late. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? It's like an episode of the dating game. I'll be a cape role model. Awesome, thanks, man. Right on. Hey, what exactly do I have to do? Just be yourself. Cool. Do I have to wear pants? Can I be a role model? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I'm serious, but okay. <laughs> Do what you love. It is super cliche, but I went through it. I went to college originally for nuclear medicine. Yeah, right? No, people don't even know what that is. Every time I call my dad, he's like, go do law school. It's so easy. <laughs> law school is not easy, man. Like, um, I can't do that. My mom, she wanted me to be a doctor, of course, but deep down, my passion was always art. We need to be more proactive. Asians need to step up. I mean, it's time. I'm Lisa Ling, you have to check out this campaign. It's at im-campaign.com.